Welcome to the Eagles Post Game Report. Paul Doherty with head coach Joey Robinson. Coach, uh, an eventful afternoon, uh, a well played game. The came out with so much more energy and enthusiasm in the warm ups, even, and that was very noticeable. And then uh, played a, a great game, but in a game of surges, I guess Delaware State kind of had that final surge, and that was enough to put them over the top. Oh, yes. Uh, we were talking about that in the locker room. Uh, we came out for the first time. We played a good 30, 36 minutes of basketball. In the last four minutes of the game, we kind of got flat, and we didn't do things in turning the ball over and making mistakes on the floor. Kind of, um, we're not kind of, it hurt us tremendously at the end. One of the things that uh, was very noticeable, low turnovers for the game, but as you say, right at, right at the end, things got a little bit uh, lost in the shuffle. But uh, I wanted to talk about the, the career high of Alicia Jenkins, a sophomore uh, from Florida. You know, I think her career high to this moment was nine points. Uh, she ended up with 14, and she was a real uh, leader out there tonight. Yeah, she, she opened up the game um, doing some good things for us, attacking the basket, taking the shots when she was open, um, stepping in, getting those rebounds, and pushing the ball down the floor and doing the things that she's capable of doing. So we were glad to see her do that tonight. And as we watch everyone on the team, you can see we're slowly beginning to, to grow together as a team and coming together as a team. And we're maturing a lot as a team. And they, the last couple of games, we've seen it start to take place for us. But even in practice, we talked about it two days ago in practice, that I can see the change in them and their spirits and in their eyes. And, um, and it showed out here tonight at the beginning of the game. Unfortunately, we did not finish it like we wanted to finish it. But we can see the progress beginning to take place for us. And obviously, just a couple of games, or a couple of days rather, before you're back in action here in Durham against the uh, University of Maryland Eastern Shore, uh, another team that. Uh, at least on paper, good matchups and an opportunity for the Lady Eagles in a in a in a close game. We would predict on Monday night. Oh yes. Uh, what we, what we can take from this game is that um, because we've had problems with turning over the ball so much, and uh, tonight we only turned the ball over 13 times, which is a record for us. And if we can, you know, go off of that and continue to understand that how important the ball is, and making the easy passes and making the the easy moves and stepping to receive the ball, um, it's going to be a good game against um, UMES. Um, they have a good coach. Um, he's done a great job with that program there too. And it, it's going to be a battle. Um, every night that we hit the floor is going to be a battle, no matter who we play. Um, this this conference is very, very strong. This conference is very, very good. And uh, we have to just come out here and be ready to go. Coach, we're looking forward to uh, seeing you in action once again on Monday evening. And thanks for everybody. And we enjoyed the um, crowd tonight, too.